Well, a roughly 24 hour search for one of the military's most sophisticated aircraft is over this afternoon, but the questions are just beginning. And it all started Sunday after a Navy fighter pilot was forced to eject from an F-35. The stealth jet kept flying on autopilot, eventually crashing nearly 80 miles away. And North Sam Brock is in Williamsburg County, South Carolina, where it's believed the plane went down. A high level mystery this morning in South Carolina's low country, a hundred million dollar F-35 fighter jet missing for a day, eventually found last night where it apparently crashed in this rural area, according to the military, two hours northeast from Joint Base Charleston. One resident thinks he heard it go down. When I heard a plane coming across, I said, this plane is mighty low. And I heard it, boom. Others like Vanessa Presley trying to get a read on how this search went off the radar. Are people here talking about how strange it is that a fighter jet disappeared for 24 yes, hours? Yes, 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 especially to cost that much amount of money. Yeah, <laughs> that's just something that happens every day. The stealth aircraft went missing after the pilot and only person on board was forced to eject on Sunday. The military base making a plea to the public. If you have any information that may help our recovery teams locate the F-35, please call the Base Defense Operations Center. But how details of this mishap were communicated, not sitting well with area congresswoman Nancy Mace. Frustrated would be an understatement right now because our, our community deserves basic minimum answers. So far, neither Joint Base Charleston nor the 2nd Marine Aircraft Wing, where the jet is part of the training squadron, are commenting on what might have caused the unexplained series of events. The FAA is also not responding to our request for comment, but is working with the military, local and state law enforcement, and the Civil Air Patrol. In the wake of this incident and two deadly crashes involving Marine Corps aircraft in the last month, the acting commandant ordering a safety stand down of all Marine Corps aircraft for two days this week. NBC News aviation analyst Jeff Gazzetti says there's at least one crucial resource for getting some answers. We have a, a living pilot, a living witness uh, to tell us what happened, and I'm sure he's already told their story to the investigative team. It's our most advanced jet in this country. and. We need to find out what went wrong.